you would act like a bitch too if you were overshadowed year after year after year. So what brings you into my office today? Well, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm Thanksgiving. Uh, my friends have been telling me I've been just acting like a bitch lately. I don't think so. <laughs> I think I've been pretty freaking thankful considering the fact that I get overshadowed year after year, okay? I mean, it is, it is hard. It is tough to be right between Halloween and Christmas. Uh -huh. You know, I used to be, I used to be celebrated. I used to be worshipped in my day. I am the season of gratitude. I am the season of thankfulness. I am the most important holiday of the year. And I'm the only one who didn't become a sellout to commercialism. Okay, and I don't think I'm a bitch. Do you think I'm a bitch? No, because I'm not a bitch. I am a thankful motherfucker. And then I got a lot of flack because I put up a sign that said, all holidays matter. It's true, isn't it? It's true. Okay, because all holidays do matter. I matter. Uh -huh. Hashtag all holidays matter. All right, so Thanksgiving, overall, how would you describe your mood? <laughs> thankful, thankful on most days. And you know, I don't understand why others expect me to be thankful every fucking day. Okay, that is literally impossible. Okay, literally, especially this year. Mm -hmm. And I am so tired of people calling me the middle child of the holidays because technically I am younger. I am way younger than Christmas and Halloween. Christmas and Halloween are fucking ancient. And you know what? It shows. It shows. I see. I'm only 399 years old. Okay, I'm a motherfucking baby. Let's keep the cussing down to a minimum, okay? It's not, I am not the middle child. And yet I get treated like the motherfucking ugly Jan of the family, okay? <sighs> okay. And excuse my language, hashtag thankful. But you know what? I am not jealous of Christmas. I am not. So Thanksgiving. Christmas, she's the lucky one, okay? She always gets a guaranteed 25 days. Okay, and Halloween, even luckier, 31 days. Yep. Some years, I only get 22 days, which now belong to Christmas. So what would Apparently, you- Apparently, 25 days wasn't enough for her. Okay, and she had to take over my entire month. That must be hard. She's already trying to take over my day with Black Friday. I almost went ape the year Walmart decided to open their Black Friday doors at 5 p.m. on my day. That's not Black Friday. I'm sorry, that is not Black Friday. Okay, that's a fucking Black Thursday. Excuse, excuse the cussing, okay? Hashtag thankful. But you know what? That was motherfucking Christmas's idea, okay? Are you surprised? I'm not, because I knew it all along. Okay. And, and if it wasn't bad enough to have my time stolen by Christmas, okay, this year, election day, decided to be a douchebag and hijack several more of my days. Why does it take so long to decide on who is gonna run a country for the next four years. That is what I wanna know. All you have to do is count millions of ballots, okay? That shouldn't take any longer than what? <sighs> Three hours? And they Election day, sit the f down. Okay, you're called election day for a reason. Get the f over yourself. And I am a mother saint, okay? Because I give veterans their day every single year, okay? And did you see me complaining? No, no. It is hard, okay? You would be the same way, Doc. You would be a just like me. You don't understand how, how hard my life is. And still, every day, I act motherfucking thankful. And seriously, I don't understand why basic bitches aren't crazy about me. I am the holiday of their favorite season, fall, okay? I am pumpkin spice everything. I am hashtag sweater weather. I am all the best sense at Bath & Body Works, okay? Mm -hmm. They should be all over me. And yet, they're still obsessed with being sexy this for Halloween, sexy that for Halloween. And ooh, I love sugar cookies and hot cocoa and Christmas and making stocking stuffers and elf on the fucking shelf. And why do kids get so excited over Halloween? Okay, yeah, it, you get to dress up and yeah, you get candy, but you know what? <laughs> do, you get a, do you get any days off? No, 
I give you at least two days off. Uh-huh. Well, with Christmas, you get at least two Shut weeks. Shut the f*** up. Okay. Honestly, I thought Halloween and I would get along a lot better. Okay, because we do have things in common. They celebrate diabetes. I celebrate obesity. For some reason though, they just think they're better than me. <laughs> and can anyone tell me why people immediately transition from Halloween movies to Christmas movies? I mean, there are some hella good Thanksgiving movies out there. Have you ever seen Freebirds? I don't think I've ever heard of that movie. What do you mean you've never heard of that movie? That was some of Owen Wilson's best work. And you know what, Doc? Okay, November 1st should be a day that I look forward to, but no, people have to ruin it by replacing their Halloween decorations with Christmas lights and decor. And of course, I have no right to get upset over this because, oh, Thanksgiving decorations aren't as fun as Christmas and Halloween. I'm sorry, but what is not fun about fall leaves, turkeys, squash, and whatever this is every where in your house, huh? What's not fun about that? Okay. And uh, uh, why aren't there any Thanksgiving songs? Okay, because you know those bops would slap. People just don't understand how hard it is to be me. This must be very hard. And now I have the goddamn wokesters on my ass trying to cancel my day because someone ratted me out and shattered my squeaky clean image of this heartwarming feast between Native Americans and pilgrims. Apparently I represent genocide, okay? I mean, it's not my fault that the Europeans decided to be assholes by intentionally spreading disease across Native American land, enslaving their people, and then stealing their land. Okay, I had nothing to do with that. Nothing. And I'm especially worried this year because you saw all the historical statues they tore down, okay? And if they're willing to go after Mount Rushmore, a literal mountain, okay, what's to stop them from erasing my day? Or worse, what if they gave my day to someone else, like they did with Christopher Columbus? And yeah, he deserved that, okay? But I don't. I don't deserve that kind of treatment. I am an innocent bystander in all this. And you know, this year, I'm pretty much guaranteed not to be celebrated at all because of COVID. No one's gonna go anywhere for Thanksgiving. But you know what will be celebrated? Christmas, okay? Because she always gets her way. Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. Motherfucking joyful bitch. And tell Use me my language, hashtag thankful. But you know what? If Macy's comes up with a Christmas Day parade, I'm gonna lose my fucking shit. Okay, because that is all I have over Christmas. Uh -huh. It's bad enough that Santa Claus comes in at the very end. Okay, it's bad enough. I personify thanks and giving. What does Christmas personify? Greed and gluttony. And they make fun of me. They say, oh, you have leaves in your hair. You know what, motherfuckers? Okay, this is trending right now. So tell me, what would it take uh, to make you feel more satisfied, content, um, happier with life? If Thanksgiving was celebrated every day? Okay, tell me, why is it that we are only thankful on one day of the year? Hmm? Why? Why? I am the season of thanks. People should be saying, happy Thanksgiving every day. That's all I ask for. That is all I ask for. Okay. And no. No, I don't appreciate Happy Turkey Day. That's an insult. Well, you know, that's... Anyway, Doc, I mean, I probably just wasted all your time today because obviously I don't have any problems or anger issues. Because <laughs> you know what? I am thankful. I don't have any problems. Okay? I don't. And if you're asking, yes, I will take another session next week. Okay?